All right, that's the Ontario SP53. Awesome chopper. And I try to get out of a freaking wreck of a freaking car. Okay, Ontario SP53 after the car. Car window is not too much damage. We have some brittles. Some brittles. Tip is still point and fine. So the tip is still awesome, as you can see. Hello. You can see, tip is kind of dull, but this knife itself is fine, freaking fine. All right. Yeah, the hose of the Ontario SP53, pretty freaking impressive. It's fucked the tore pretty hard. Wow. Oh. Oh. So, the question we all want to know is Can the Ontario 53 open a fucking beer? No, oh, fuck no! Fuck no! Water bottle! Wow! Yeah! No! No! Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck! After the water bottles, it's not so sharp as it was before. The tip is still, I think, a little bit dull, not too much after all the abuse okay let's break it up let's break the fuck up with the edge Okay, the first wax we have breakouts, 
We have one big breakout at the edge. That's for sure. Okay, let's go on. Let's go the fork on. But it's taking chunks out of the prickle. Amazing. Wow. It's destroying El Prico. It's fucking El Prico for sure. Wow. Okay. What do we have? Breakouts, but not too much. Really, not too much. Okay, let's go on. All right, the edge is amazing, okay. The edge is really amazing. Wow, some more wax, edge. Look at this groove, this groove was the 53 Better would be 69 But it's 53 So the edge is amazing Some wax at the spine Okay, let's see If The 53 gives me Greetings from the operator 7 If you know what I mean Right, so the edge looks, edge, this is the edge, this is the spine, pretty good I would say, pretty freaking good. Fuck. 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 That's disappointing. The whole freaking plate broke. The whole freaking plate inside the fucking handle. That's very bad. What should I do now with this shit? The fucking tip test. This is really freaking fucking heavy. And this heavy is freaking fucking lightweight. This is really heavy. And then you have just this tiny bit, three centimeters or something. Inside the handle, lightweight, heavy, and just this shit is inside. I mean, what do you think is going to happen, uh, Ontario? Uh, just kidding. I'm not a scient and scientist or something, or physiologist, or, or physiotherapist, or I don't know. Yeah, but this shit is not good. Now I'm trying to make a fucking tip test with this fucked up plate, with the fucking brick, or with the fucked up antler.
It's always it's good to have antlers laying around. Like a hammer, like a freaking fucking hammer. Nature hammer. So if you need a hammer in nature, shoot a fucking antler. Okay. Oh, that's not possible. That's not freaking possible. We need a trinker for this. Okay. Fuck him up, this fucker. <laughs> okay, broke. The tape broke. Under heavy fire. Okay. That's it. You're not getting you fucking on earth. Ontario 53. It began pretty amazing. Amazing steps at the car. The tip action, pretty awesome at the windshield, pretty impressive. Brick session, you see, there are not many breakouts, so no deep breakouts, so the, the steel at the edge is quite good because I give it everything I had and the steel, the steel is just, it's not pretty lot too much. That's freaking fucking fantastic. Yep, I worked it pretty hard also at the, at the spine. Just some small fractures, nothing too serious. So it's not too soft. It should be not too soft like the Operator 7 on the top. But this is very heavy compared to this handle. So in this heavy plate, Sticks with this shit, just with this, tuck tuck, inside here. So that's that's that can't be good. Huh? You have the heavy stuff here and nothing to protect it at the, at the at the end. So I'm gonna shoot this with the Glock and see what's really inside this fucking tank. But because of this weak point, this knife is totally not recommendable. That's the blade of the Ontario. Come to shoot with the Glock. Nine fucking millimeter. Wow. Nothing. Here's the hit. Yeah. Did nothing to the blade. Nothing. Okay, I could feel that. Wow. Yeah. Again, another hit, nothing, freaking nothing. That's the handle of the Ontario SP53. Yeah, I hit it. I hit it here, but it's, it's nothing. Crazy, again. Another one. Another one, but the, the bullet is anyway, I don't know. Again. The tank. You see the tank is coming out. The fucking tank is fucking coming out. Here's the exit entry. Wow. This shit is bulletproof. The tank comes out. Wow. It's fucked up. Yeah, hit it again. 
yeah, the lead must be inside. Crazy, crazy handle. Okay, one more time to be sure. Yeah, the tank is coming out more and more. Fucking crazy. The tank is coming out. This is so, this is so fucked up. SB53 Polo against Steyr AOG. All right. This was too much for the 53. It exploded. Like fuck. That's the handle from the Ontario 53. Okay, let's go. Where's the Steyr AOG? Here's the handle. Entry wound. Yeah. And exit. Pretty amazing. Pretty fucking amazing. So, that was left of the Ontario after the shooting. This handle is amazing. The clocks went inside. It doesn't come out, they stay inside, inside the handle, which is freaking, freaking fantastic. Bitte, video dreh! Ich dreh video! Freaking fucking people, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, the bullet kept inside, they stayed inside, inside the handle. Pretty amazing. Here are some entry wounds. The shots at the handle. The small entry wounds were some from the clock, like here. They went in and it didn't went out. And one hit with the EOG. It came inside here. Or I think it came inside here. And went outside here. Then the EOG went through. The EOG went through the handle. I'm not sure. But this is the hit with the EOG. And still. This handle is still workable, still is still fine. And during the shooting, the tank came out. So this is how the tank looks like. Pretty amazing, I would say. Awesome handle, man. Awesome, awesome handle. Then the blade itself. Here you can see one hit with the Glock. Here a shot with the Glock. No problemo. One hit here, no problem. And then with the assault rifles exploded. It goes BING! But the clock did nothing to this blade. This is like a tent. It's nothing. Not even a tent. It's a pretty amazing blade. That's for the SP53. I mean amazing blade. It did amazing at the shooting. It did amazing at the fucking shooting. See you my friends. Bye.